Microbrands have represented one of the fastest growing segments of the mechanical watch market in recent years. Much more recently though, GMT watches have become a thing. And thanks to movement releases from Seiko, Miura, and Soprod, the barrier to entry has become easier. And these so-called micro brands can now play with the big boys and offer reasonably priced GMTs in different styles and colors to the masses. I decided to create this video because I'm on the hunt for a micro brand GMT to add to my watch collection. While researching various brands and their GMT models, I found the inspiration to make this video. I'll start today in part one of a three-part series by featuring watches with the Seiko NH34 movement. In part two and part three, I'll be highlighting GMT watches with the Miyoro Soprod, Salidas, and in-house GMT calibers. Before I proceed though, a disclaimer is in order. Dealer networks for micro brands is scarce and most purchases are made online. So it's essential to note that I haven't physically handled any of these watches. Consequently, this series won't serve as a detailed review for any particular watch. Rather, it will provide an overview and I'll share my impressions based on what I have found online. Briefly on the NH34, it's a movement supplied by Seiko to other watchmakers. The NH34 is what is referred to as an office GMT, where rotating the second position of the crown adjusts the GMT hand in one hour jumps, as opposed to traveler GMTs where the second position of the crown adjusts the local hour hand instead. The idea of an office GMT is to use this watch in your home country to display a time zone in a different area in the world, while traveler GMT, as the name suggests, is best used when traveling and to quick set the time and the destination without disrupting the minutes and the seconds. Starting with the least expensive watch on the list is the Phoebus Wavemaster GMT. Designed with the adventurous spirit in mind, this watch combines functionality, durability, and aesthetics to create an ultimate companion for explorers and travelers alike. Three watches with different dial colors are available from Phoebus. These are great looking watches with the wave pattern dials, octopus logo on the dial along with applied indices, pencil hands, and a nicely placed date window at the six o'clock. It's got a sapphire crystal with three layers of anti-reflective coating on the inside, the 24 click bidirectional rotating bezel is ceramic and loomed. Just a lot of detail for a very affordable price of $385. Next on the list is Nizumi Avera GMT. Nizumi is a Swedish brand that started in 2011 and they have a collection of very attractive watches. The Avera is offered in two colorways, a blue dial and a black dial. The dial on these watches is very legible. Printed logo and markers, pencil hands, and a very unique skeleton GMT hand to differentiate itself from the other hands. The dial markings, bright yellow GMT arrow, hour, minute, and seconds hand are all loomed. It's got a double dome sapphire crystal with two layers of anti-reflective coating on the inside. The 24 hour bezel is fixed and we've got the Nozumi logo on the case back and crown. A very well put together watch for a very reasonable price. The next watch is the Notice Sector GMT. The people at Notice really know how to make a very good looking timepiece and the Sector GMT is no different. It differentiates itself from the other watches on this list by being the only one without a bezel. Notice provides this GMT in three color options, the Tuxedo, Pacific, and Metro. The brushing on the dial and font on the Arabics give this piece a refreshing look. The tan loomed hands and the colored GMT hand to add an extra splash of color on the dial. Flat top sapphire crystal with domed underside and blue anti-reflective coating. The finishing on the brushed and polished case is very well done. You get a lot here for only $470. The next watch is from a brand called RZE and the Ascentus GMT. RZE has been dedicated to building timepieces for the everyday adventure. The only brand on this list with cases made out of titanium. The build quality is great and the design is very clear and minimalist. The dial comes in three color variants, black, yellow, and azure blue. The applied indices and the pencil hands are loomed. A sapphire crystal with inner AR coating. The unidirectional 120 click loomed bezel is also made out of titanium. For $550, this watch offers really good value. The next watch is the Zelos Black Tip GMT. Zelos is one of the brands that lead the pack in developing solid value packed watches for watch enthusiasts. The watch comes in a range of dial colors and finishes, but the most intriguing are the meteorite dials. It's got loom everywhere, on the baton hands, on the applied indices, as well as a loom chapter ring and crown. 
Z lost logo under the 12 o'clock and a neatly tucked date window at the 6 o'clock position. A domed sapphire crystal with inner AR coating. The bezel has got 48 clicks and you guessed it, it is also loomed. The case is for the most part brushed with a chamfered edge on both sides of the case. Price varies depending on dial finish with $550 being the median price. The next watch on the list will be on the larger side for some and it's the Spinnaker Dumas GMT. Spinnaker was one of the first micro brands that I got into when I started getting interested into watches and it's nice to see Spinnaker still going strong. Inspired by the shapes and designs of 1970s watches, the Dumas GMT comes in four variants with the main difference being the color combo of the bezel and hands. The dial on this watch is very clean and balanced and the applied rectangular and circular indices aid in legibility. Again, the date window is nice placed at the 6 o'clock position and a hint of color on the text. A sapphire crystal with inner AR coating, the bezel sits on top of a very angular 8-sided case. This watch comes in at a price of $550. In summary, I find the watches on this list to offer better value than the Seiko Sports GMT whose movement serves as a foundation. These watches at this price range outshine the Seiko in finesse and refinement and at the same time present a compelling challenge to leading brands. Full of features, thoughtful design and very good finishing, they represent a formidable alternative. While there are a few more NH35 powered watches out there, I have chosen to spotlight these six based on their popularity and what I personally consider worth shortlisting or purchasing. Let me know in the comments which of these watches you like the most. That's it for this episode. If you're getting value out of this video, please leave a like so YouTube would know to suggest this video to others interested in watches like you. Be sure to tap the subscribe button so you don't miss out on the upcoming parts of the series. I wish you the best in your watch journey and I'll see you in the next one.